guys, this is Katrina and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel if you're an old time subscriber and I'd like to say welcome if you are new here. And in this video y'all, I'm going to be styling, styling, I am, I am going to be styling my hair, but I'm going to be trying out a new styler that Nature's Little Secret recently came out with and y'all, if you haven't heard, this styler is made with okra. Yes, okra. Now, I will be the first to admit that I am not a fan of okra, and many lovers of okra are always saying, you know, try it this way, try it that way, but I've tried it both ways, which is the boiled, well, I definitely don't like the boiled, but I've tried the um, fried okra, and mm -mm, it still has that little slimy center. So, like I said, Nature's Little Secret came out with a new styling gel, and it has okra in it and this is what it looks like very fitting for the label to be green um, but yeah it is their okra curl defining gel and it's made with okra extract but apparently there are some vitamins in okra that are very very good for your hair um, so we are going to be trying out this curl defining gel I'm super duper excited because I just love a good gel. Also, I want y'all to watch all the way to the end, y'all, because I'm going to be adding a new step in my wash and go process. I'm super duper excited, but like I said, stay tuned. Um, so I have already applied their banana leave-in conditioner here. It's already in my hair. So what I am going to do is just go ahead and take my cap off so you guys can see what my hair is looking like. And I will say that while I was in the shower, I went ahead and put my hair into the style that I want it to be. So I won't have to worry about like parting my hair and then, you know, putting it to the side and creating more frizz than I need to. So let's just go ahead and open up this okra defining gel here, y'all. So let's see what it looks like. Turn it around so y'all could see it. Okay, all right. All right, so we got the seal on there. Love a good seal. And this is what it looks like as I take it off. Let's see what it smells like, y'all. y'all it kind of smells like it a little bit like a like fresh okra you know what I mean like you just picked it not like cooked or anything but this is what the um, what the consistency looks like like right you know just by looking at it and y'all I'm up here showing y'all and tipping it I didn't even look to see you know if it was gonna fall out the container so I'm so glad it didn't but it has a little, little jiggle to it. Let me go ahead and take my hair down so y'all can see what my hair looks like with the leave-in. <laughs> can we say shine and definition? All right, so let's just go ahead and get this styling process started. I'm just gonna go ahead and section my hair and for those of you that are new to this channel, I just like to start in the back and work my way up to the front. I feel that it is a better process for me because I don't have to worry about my hair getting into other sections that I've already done. All right, so y'all, this is my hair. With just the leave-in in, let's just go ahead and see what it looks like. It's kind of like cloudish, like bouncy, has some kind of, you know, a little bit of stickiness to it. So this is what we are looking like right here. Hmm, it's a very thick, y'all. Very, very thick. Not really much tackiness to it. So let's go ahead and apply it to this section here. has pretty good slip to it. 
very easy to apply to this section. Ooh, it's adding lots and lots of shine and it is elongating this section as well. Let me go ahead and apply it to this other section, about this much here. This wash and go is gonna be the bomb diggity. Does anybody ever say that anymore? All right, so this is what we are looking like, y'all, with both sections. And this one, it is still somewhat elongated, but um, but yeah, not too much shrinkage just yet. So, what I'm gonna do, y'all, is go ahead and start applying this gel to the rest of my sections. Once I'm done, I'll come back and let you guys see what my wet results look like. So the directions say that after you shampoo and condition your hair, you can either put in the banana leave-in um, conditioner or the avocado moisture cream. Um, it tells you to split your hair into small sections and apply to wet or soaking wet hair. It says to use fingers to rake, smooth, and or detangle each section. Also re-wet the sections if needed and it says to diffuse or sit under a hooded blow dryer for best results. Okay, so I am done applying the Okra Curl Defining Gel, y'all. Y'all, it looks really, really good. My hair is super duper shiny, um, has lots and lots of curl definition. So, so far, so good. And I really didn't use much at all. Like, this is how much is left. Um, they do give you a good amount of product. This is 12 ounces. But I will say that after you open this, you only have six months to use the product up. Um, me personally, if there's still some in there, I'm probably gonna use it just to be honest with you. So yeah, I really did not have to use a lot of this product um, at all. So I have tons of it left. But like I said earlier in the video, I do have a new step that I am adding to my wash and go. And y'all, I was recently gifted this particular thing, so I'm super duper excited to use it. And y'all, guess what it is? It is a hooded blow dryer, and the best thing about it, y'all, is that it rolls. So I can take it anywhere I want to and do whatever I want to, and it is adjustable as well. And this is what it looks like. So y'all, I'm so excited to use this. Um, I just put it together, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it up. Okay, y'all, so my hair is 
pretty much dry like my hair I have like a hard cast on it um, this back section which usually takes the longest to dry is I would say like 99% dry um, so and I sat under the dryer for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour so and then what I did was I switched between um, low heat and high heat and then I ended with cool heat so what I am going to do now, I am just going to go ahead and band my hair with scrunchies like I, you know, like I always do, um, just to stretch it and get the gel cast off. And then I will come back tomorrow so you guys can see um, what my hair looks like on day one. Okay, y'all, so I know that I said that I was going to come back tomorrow after I take my scrunchies out, but I went ahead and took them out. And y'all, do y'all see my hair? Like, it looks so good. Like, my hair feels really, really soft. It has lots of movement. Um, the definition is definitely there. Y'all, listen, I think that I am going to be sitting up under a hooded blow dryer every time I do my wash and goes from now on like y'all it looks so good <laughs> I hate to be so extra y'all but it looks so good do y'all see that do y'all see it my hair feels really really soft so I'm still gonna come back tomorrow so you guys can see what my day two results look like Okay, so it is day two of this okra wash and go and I wanted to show you guys how I pulled my hair back when I went to the gym um, this is what I did I just have like a you know a satin scrunchie there and I just pulled all my hair back so now um, I'm gonna take it out so you guys can see how my hair held up um, during my gym class so let's just go ahead and take that out but I should have showed you guys the before, but I figured the after the gym would be a really good test to see how this um, okra defining gel um, works. So this is how it is looking and it is shrunken. Um, and I do have some, some straight pieces here from the scrunchie, but this is what it looks like y'all there's still curl definition there um, so it definitely has a really soft hold just gonna turn around so you guys can see what it looks like So I think the way that I'm going to wear my hair tonight when it's time for bed is just put my hair up in a pineapple, put my bonnet on, and that will definitely um, stretch it out and give it some more length. So um, I'll be back tomorrow, you guys, so you can see what day three looks like. All right, you guys, this is day three. Looks really good still. Definition, movement, volume. Not too shabby. Okay, so y'all, my final thoughts about this Okra Curl Defining Gel is I really, really do enjoy it and I really think it's a great gel. So I definitely think it's worth a try. I didn't get any flakes. My hair felt really good. My hair felt really soft. And I think it pairs well with the banana leave-in conditioner. 
So comment down below and let me know if you've used this Okra Curl Defining Gel and if you use this leave-in or if you use it with another leave-in. I'm interested in trying a new combo with this Curl Defining Gel. And I also wanted to add that I used a new styling gel for this wash and go. So please make sure you are subscribed and your notifications are on so that you can know what my thoughts are about this new styling gel that I'm trying. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.